Located on the F. Ribbon is an application called Entity Manager. To load Entity Manager, click on the application. If this is the first time that you have launched Entity Manager, you will get a notification of do you want to see the details, select no. What that is telling you is it's going to load all the pay item information from the database and it is currently reading all of the block drawings in the block folder and layers from the f.master DWT. Entity Manager is used to draw and place blocks lines, entities under the influence of pay item data or X data. The pay item data is used along with the compute formula which will allow you to quantify your quantities in your drawing file. After Entity Manager loads it asks you to save the pay item DB .xml file. This is your current pay item file drawing it is project specific so save it with your project information after it finishes loading the application comes up and for any configuration or setup with entity manager I invite you to review the reference guide that is located in the civil 3d state kit the current folder under apps Entity Manager folder, there is a F. Entity Manager reference guide. Please refer to that for setup. This video is meant to show you how to use it and how to navigate around the interface. Looking at the interface, we have four tabs pay item categories, entity X data, selected, and alignments. Entity Manager or EMX for short. Dialog box behaves like any other Civil 3D dialog box. You can right click and allow docking or anchor transparency or auto hide. The pay item categories are set up in the tree view here. You can navigate by expanding and navigating directly to your desired pay item you can enter in a text filter to do a search or if you know the pay item number you can enter it here to navigate to it for instance if I want a light pole I would go to lighting select my pole that I want to insert into the file and this information here has the pay item data the pay item number the description the correct layer and a block if the entity that you're going to place is a block it has the compute method used to quantify if I want to insert the lighting pole block in this case it is the pole LUM simply right click select insert block with pay item data Select the location of the drawing file and the rotation. And if I zoom in, there is a truck symbol that you see on the block. That means that X data is attached. And the X data and other entity information can be viewed by hovering over. If I wanted to draw a line or polyline, type in a search, select in this case conduit, and using the drawing tools that are located along the bottom, I can draw a line or polyline. In this case, I'm going to select a polyline. As you can see, the truck symbol is visible, meaning it is going to draw it under the influence. Also, it will put it on the correct layer even if your current layer is not set to this layer the program will put it on the conduit OT layer with the proper line type the EMX tool retains the 
by layer by block properties. You can also use the offset command. You can also use the offset command on the drawing tools for EMX. Here I have the conduit selected again. Select offset and this is basically launching the AutoCAD offset options. You can select through, erase, or layer. So if I select layer, which is L, and select either the source or the current layer. In this case I will select source, enter a distance, select the source object, select the side, hit enter. As you can see the offset command assigned the conduit with the line type and layer even though the source object was on a different layer. You can also double click on the object to launch the polyline command. To draw a hatch pattern with EMX simply type in what you want to add. In this case this example is performance turf sod. Along the top select the fill closed region with hatch icon and reading the command line this is the AutoCAD hatch command pick an internal point or type S to select objects I'm going to left click hit enter and an ID label is automatically generated just drag that off and left click to place that. If you want to edit an already placed object or entity simply go to the ID button select the object left click hit enter and in the entity X data section it populates with the data that is attached to that object if you want to edit or add ad hoc information simply click on the blue link under the pay item number the edit entity attribute ad hoc dialog box appears and from here you can assign an alignment check the layer or go to the ad hoc tab and add your design notes or if you had a different value that you wanted to enter. You would enter it here, click apply, close, and the ID also works with the blocks. In this case it brings up the lighting pole. If you already have a placed entity that has no information attached to it, you can append, type in the entity that you want to add along the top there is an append the selected pay item or data to the object left click the command line select the entity I can either left click or window I'm going to highlight the entity press enter and hovering over it it has two X data entries on it you can also remove pay item data from an object. Select remove all, select the object, press enter. And now we have a block that has no X data attached. You can also replace pay item data with a, a new entry. Simply browse to the pay item that you want to add press replace select the object in the file and it will replace with the selected pay item data you can also match properties behaves just like civil 3d match properties in AutoCAD to use match properties simply select to launch the command command line select the source in this case I'm going to select the conduit then I'm going to select the target then I'm going to hit enter it will assume all pay item X data 
from the source. Working with labels, which will typically be on your hatch areas for sod, pavement, hatch area labels. If you click on the icon, the hatch area labels dialog box appears. This is where you make your changes to the label properties. You can add a prefix. You can also control the precision and readout. Currently it is either in square feet or square yards. If you receive a file that does not have labels, you can select all and then label areas and one by one it will label your areas and you will have to drag the label off as you place them. Currently the labels are attached to an alignment to allow for proper quantifying based off a of beginning and end station. If you go to the alignments tab you can see the current alignments that are in the file. As you draw your hatch patterns and go to the alignment tab you can hit refresh and all of your areas that you have placed reside here and you can select them and the drawing file will zoom to those areas. If you have objects that require multiple pay items above and beyond the default pay item data that gets attached such as to, for a block, a controller cabinet, you would simply search for your pay item. Once you find it, right click. You can add to selected and the selected tab will populate with your choices and from here you could select all of the items then select append to object and all of the selected pay item data will be attached.